Announcement about Queen Elizabeth Queen Elizabeth was incredibly close to her beloved sister Princess Margaret, who tragically passed away in 2002 at the age of 71. This week, the Queen made it clear that she is still in mourning for her sister 15 years later, leading to the British people sending their prayers to their leader. Daily Mail reported that Queen Elizabeth was spotted out having dinner at the Ivy restaurant in London carrying a purse with the image of a woman and two children on it. It's since been revealed that the woman on the purse is Princess Margaret, and the two youths are her children, Lady Sarah Chatto and David Armstrong Jones, the Earl of Snowden. Last year, Margaret's daughter Sarah Chatto talked about how close the Queen and Margaret were as she watched old footage of the pair singing together as children in a documentary to mark the Queen's 90th birthday. It's very revealing how that closeness started and that never got weaker, she explained. Royal insiders say that the Queen has become incredibly close to Chatto since the death of her sister. The Queen adores Sarah and seeks out her company as often as possible. She is her absolute favorite younger royal, an insider said. They are hugely at ease in each other's company. Much giggling can be heard when they are together. They share a sense of loyalty, fun, duty and the ridiculous. We hope that carrying around that purse helps to remind Queen Elizabeth that Princess Margaret will always be FBI agents turn on Comey unanimously they all wanted a grand jury for Hillary, video. You've been hearing about it for weeks. Investigators under Comey have been angry with the outcome of the investigation. And you've been scratching your head since James Comey came out and declared Hillary negligent in the email scandal, but now charges were to be filed. However, no one ever thought they would come out, in public and tell the truth of what went on behind the scenes of the investigation. Well, they're talking now, and it doesn't look good for Comey, and let's hope the snowball rolls over Hillary. Fox News, the decision to let Hillary Clinton off the hook for mishandling classified information has roiled the FBI and Department of Justice, with one person closely involved in the year-long probe telling FoxNews.com that career agents and attorneys on the case unanimously believe the Democratic presidential nominee should have been charged. The source, who spoke to FoxNews.com on the condition of anonymity, said FBI Director James Comey's dramatic July 5 announcement that he would not recommend to the Attorney General's office that the former Secretary of State be charged left members of the investigative team dismayed and disgusted. More than 100 FBI agents and analysts worked around the clock with six attorneys from the Dodge's National Security Division, Counterespionage Section, to investigate the case. No trial-level attorney agreed, no agent working the case agreed. With the decision not to prosecute, it was a top-down decision, said the source, whose identity and role in the case has been verified by FoxNews.com. The person concluded by saying, Every agent and attorney I have spoken to is embarrassed and has lost total respect for James Comey and Loretta Lynch. The bar for Dodge is whether the evidence supports a case for charges, it did here. It should have been taken to the grand jury. Breaking Trump makes tragic announcement about his life. Please send your prayers. He misses driving, feels as if he is in a cocoon, and is surprised how hard his new job is. President Donald Trump on Thursday reflected on his first 100 days in office with a wistful look at his life before the White House. I loved my previous life. I had so many things going, Trump told Reuters in an interview. This is more work than in my previous life. I thought it would be easier. A wealthy businessman from New York, Trump assumed public office for the first time when he entered the White House on January 20 after he defeated former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in an upset. More than five months after his victory and two days shy of the 100-day mark of his presidency, the election is still on Trump's mind. Midway through a discussion about Chinese President Xi Jinping, the president paused to hand out copies of what he said were the latest figures from the 2016 electoral map. Here, you can take that, that's the final map of the numbers, the Republican president said from his desk in the Oval Office, handing out maps of the United States with areas he won marked in red. It's pretty good, right? 
the red is obviously us. Trump, who said he was accustomed to not having privacy in his old life, expressed surprise at how little he had now. And he made clear he was still getting used to having 24-hour secret service protection and its accompanying constraints. You're really into your own little cocoon, because you have such massive protection that you really can't go anywhere, he said. When the president leaves the White House, it is usually in a limousine or an SUV. He said he missed being behind the wheel himself. I like to drive, he said. I can't drive anymore. Many things about Trump have not changed from the Wheeler Dealer executive and former celebrity reality show host who ran his empire from the 26th floor of Trump Tower in New York and worked the phones incessantly. He frequently turns to outside friends and former business colleagues for advice and positive reinforcement. Senior aides say they are resigned to it. The president has been at loggerheads with many news organizations since his election campaign and decided not to attend the White House Correspondents' Dinner in Washington on Saturday because he felt he had been treated unfairly by the media. I would come next year, absolutely, Trump said when asked whether he would attend in the future. The dinner is organized by the White House Correspondents' Association. Reuters correspondent Jeff Mason is its president. Whoa! Tom Hanks just exposed the Obamas after vacationing together. Actor Tom Hanks was among a select group of celebrities lucky enough to vacation with the Obamas last month. Hanks joined Oprah, Bruce Springsteen, and the Obamas aboard music mogul David Geffen's super yacht for a trip to French Polynesia. But until all on the Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Hanks indicated that perhaps he wasn't so lucky to be there. While striking a humorous tone, as is his wand, Hanks was nevertheless somewhat perturbed as he recalled. I'll tell you one thing that happens to Tom Hanks, little Tommy Hanks on that trip. He gets screwed, but in the bad way, in the pejorative way, not in the delightful way. Seriously, who invites Tom Hanks to a swanky vacation and then leaves him in the dust? Only someone as arrogant? stuck up and overly competitive as Michelle Obama. That's who? Just in Thray Gowdy comes with bombshell announcement about Hillary Clinton, he has something in. At first, it was Bill Clinton. When we found out how gravely he treats ladies and what an unpleasant man he is, we thought he is the worst from the Clinton family. But then, came his wife Hillary. That is when we saw that there is another member of that family that is far more atrocious. The worst of her many wrongdoings she has been accused of was her usage of a private server for managing personal businesses. This should have been enough to put her in jail for a long time, but somehow the family has gotten away with all of their crimes and not one of them has spent a day in jail. The explanation for this is that they are included in a gigantic system of liberal elites that can do anything they want especially when they had a Democrat in charge. Unfortunately for them, Obama is gone now, and we have President Trump and Thray Gowdy, an extraordinary conservative official who highly respects the Constitution of the United States. The time has finally come for Hillary to be held accountable for all of her crimes. According to Gowdy, there is enough proof for a conviction, reports National News Today. There is sufficient evidence, both direct and circumstantial upon which a jury could conclude an intent to violate the law. He said. This evidence includes concealment of evidence, destruction of evidence and false exculpatory statements, all of which fall under the general heading of consciousness of guilt. IT would appear the investigation is back to the status quo ante, which means Director Comey believes Secretary Clinton was indeed extremely careless in her handling of classified material. It appears as though Gowdy is onto something important. We can't wait to find out the details. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook or Twitter scroll down for more. H slash T, The Federalist Tribune.